Hey guys, what's up? This is Gus 69 from Matt Open Mind Brazil. Today with another contest entry. Yes, for a new subscriber to my channel, welcome Raul Serrano, uh, a metalhead. It's always good to have more knowledgeable metalheads here in the music community. Welcome and congratulations to your first milestone here. So this is for his 100 subscribers contest and he wants us to show, to pick a genre and show five different albums without repeating the artist from the same genre. And if you show 10 albums, you get two entries in the drawing. So very cool. I will be showing 10, five CDs and five records. I hope you like it. Uh, I chose uh, Guitar Heroes and releases from 84 to 94. So most of, most of them are debut albums by those, uh, these guitar, guitar players. All of them are great. I really advise you, if you are not familiar with them, please go ahead and check them out. They are all awesome. So, the first pick, it's from 84, Steve A, Flexable, great stuff by this guitar player, uh, he uh, was, before he released this album, he was playing with Frank Zappa, so you get that Zappa influence in, in most of his uh, songwriting here, uh, but then he kind of uh, left that in the past, but on this one is very, uh, you, you feel that influence and there are three songs here that are sang, but most of the records are instrumental. So this is one of the exceptions because uh, most 9% of I will be showing are all instrumental music. So, Flexible, my first pick from 84. And from the same year, we have Wingy J. Malmsteen with Rising Force. Great debut album by this uh, Swedish guitar hero. Very influential in this, the heavy metal scene, bringing all the classical influences to to heavy music, so very good stuff. Wing J Malmsteen. So this is the only one that is not from United States. All the rest are American. So from 86, we have Tony McAlpine with Edge of Insanity. I showed this one before, I think I mispronounced, I said Edge of Sanity, but is Edge of Insanity, the correct title, great stuff, first album by him, Tony there, and one of the first uh, releases by Shrapnel Records, the record label by Mike Varney, uh, also uh, distributed by Roadrunner and that uh, was like a very big showcasing this kind of instrumental music in the heavy metal style. So very good stuff, Tony McAlpine. Now from 87 we have Mind's Eye from uh, Vinnie Moore, great debut all instrumental, great stuff. Nowadays Vinnie Moore plays with UFO. Great. Also from 87, Joy Tafola with Out of the Sun. Another great instrumental debut album. Joey Tafla also played with other heavy metal bands, but this is uh, his first 
uh, instrumental album. Uh, also from 87 we have no other than Joey Satriani with Surfing with the Alien. Not his debut, Out of This World. Uh, it's one of the few that I still don't have on my collection, but I will get that eventually. So this is the second and probably the most uh, well-known and iconic, successful for his career, Joey Satriani. Uh, our instrumental. People also know him now uh, for more recent years by playing on chicken foot, but this is our instrumental. So now from 88, my last vinyl I'll be showing, Greg Howie, uh, self-titled debut instrumental album, great stuff. A little bit different than the others, maybe more uh, has more swing on his playing, more jazzy, maybe uh, not so heavy than the others, but very good stuff, Greg Howie. And also from '88, probably the most heavy release from all of them. Mark Friedman with Dragon's Kiss. Great stuff. Uh, he was playing also with Cacophony and this is before he was hired to play with Megadeth. So very good stuff. I love his playing. But this one is very heavy. Mark Friedman. Now moving for the 90s. This is not so uh, well known. Stefan Ross, Midnight Drive, uh, another guitar player from the US, debut solo uh, album, all instrumental, good stuff. I like it. He was involved with other projects. I think he, he released the second album in 2015, but not so well known as the others. But good stuff, Stefan Ross. And finally, uh, another one that is not so well known. Uh, this is from 94 and it's Gary Howie. Uh, not Greg Howie, but Gary Howie. And this is actually a, a soundtrack for a movie that he recorded. Uh, it's called The Endless Summer Part 2. So it's the second movie. I think it's a surf movie. I will leave the link in the description if you are interested in that. Uh, and uh, he was invited to do to to write one song, and the director loved the song and and said no, do an uh, entire uh, soundtrack. So he was uh, on studio uh, uh, watching the footage, some of the footage, and creating this. Uh, I think he was um, in two weeks, twelve days. He recorded this. Um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it's uh, all instrumental, yeah, it's all instrumental. This is one of the more recent picks from all of these. Uh, I'm not so familiar, but uh, as far as I can, I remember, it's very good. And it's, uh, it's, um, I would say that this is his second studio album, not the debut. But anyway, great stuff, Gary Howie. So that's it. 10 albums that I showed. Most of them uh, instrumental, 95% instrumental. Uh, most of them are debut albums. Uh, with uh, two exceptions and most of them are 
from the American musicians, the exception being Wingy Malmsteen for, from Sweden. So there you go. Um, again, congratulations to you, uh, Mr. Serrano. Great to have a uh, metalhead here in the VC. And uh, a last reminder, uh, I decided to do this today because uh, my own 200 subs contest uh, deadline is on July 31st. So we are uh, running out of time. If you want to do uh, an entry to my contest, we have so far 23 uh, entries all great stuff but i'm waiting for some more if you have a couple days please let me know if you do uh, an entry and uh, in august uh, i think on the first week i will be doing the drawing i said in the beginning or on some of my videos i said that i'll be doing a live drawing i'm not sure about that because my internet here is not so uh, so good. We have uh, sometimes are a little bit unstable. So I don't want to have to have uh, a live video that um, with bad audio and images. So I'll probably be doing recording the drawing and uh, and and posting as a premiere and i will be there on the shot so the winner if he will be uh, checking that uh, while it's uh, happening i can uh, we can talk in the shot so uh, that's it uh, one last thing we were listening to my one of the best albums instrumental from a guitar hero of mine that is Jason Becker I don't have uh, this uh, debut album Perpetual Burn which is excellent but and uh, it uh, has been a grail to me for a long long time <sighs> and I got it I just ordered yesterday uh, the 30th, 30th uh, reissue anniversary edition I think it's uh, pink vinyl and anyway I'll be getting that uh, only in August so I decided to not wait <laughs> to get to include on this uh, entry because I had enough material to show but this one is uh, if I had it ahead of time, I would have included on this update, on this contest entry. But anyway, uh, let's end this humbling and uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.